What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time here. Well, guys, today I got a question. Have we here in the US lost our ability to survive? Now, if you look back at times like during the Great Depression, for example, most everyone living in these rural areas raised a garden. They had chickens, they had cattle, they could hunt, they could fish, they could they had skills, they could repair things, they could use things, recycle things, to use those things for different purposes. They could save money, they could cook, and they could make delicious food from the most basic ingredients. However, nowadays, most people, even in these rural areas, don't really have any useful survival skills. You know, it used to be when I was growing up, just about everyone still raised a garden. A lot of people still had chickens. And they still had skills. You know, they could do automobile repair, for example. They cut their own firewood to heat with wood. They could repair chainsaws. They could repair small engines. The women could still cook. If it should go both ways, men should learn to cook too because the way things are going to be, you know it's good for both partners, the man and the woman, to both have useful skills to overlap with each other in case something happens to the other one. But guys, nowadays, the people grow up soft, even in these rural areas. They spend their day playing video games. No one goes out and tills the soil up, or very few people anymore, and past that garden. Very few people have, you know, chickens. People don't even hunt anymore. It used to be when I was growing up, and up into the 1990s at least, I remember, every deer season, the newspaper would have, you know, people's picture that had killed their deer with that deer up there, talking about how many points it was, and where they shot that at, what they shot that with. You don't see it anymore. You see the same thing, you know, during turkey season. People would show off, show off their game that they took. You don't see it no more. All people do anymore, even in these rural areas, for the vast majority, I mean, there's still a few, but people play video games. People watch TV. People might have a job to work at, you know, that one specific skill, and that's all they know. They don't try to learn any more skills. And, you know, even growing up, a lot of the children nowadays has one parent, because the parents usually don't stay together. And they only have one parent to try to teach them what needs to be taught. And if that parent, you know, it's usually the mom that gets the kids. And usually, not always, but usually, the mom don't know anything about the stuff that the father could teach, and vice versa. And I'm saying, you know, I'm not taking up for the male or the female, but vice versa, either way. The skills don't use the overlap, so that parent can't teach those skills. And unfortunately, you know, a lot of the parents anymore don't even know those skills to teach. That's why they put their child in front of the television set. That's why they put their child in front of the video game and just push that child away to keep the child occupied don't try to teach any variable skills because they don't know any variable skills. They've not been taught themselves any variable skills. I watched a video the other day, and uh, there was a fender bender. And the guy and his girlfriend got out, and the one guy was, you know, irate, screaming and throwing his hands around and threatening things. And the other vehicle had a father and a son. The son was about in his early 30s, and the father was probably in his 60s or so. And the guy that was irate punched the dad and laid him out, right? Well, the son, instead of taking up for his dad and attacking that guy, which is what I would have done, you know, if someone hit someone I care about like that, I'm going to be knocking his brains out with whatever I pick up or slicing those guts out with a knife or using a handgun. You ain't gonna hit nobody that I care about. It's not gonna happen. If I'll have his days, we're gonna be fighting. But that guy, after his father was knocked completely out, and the other guy was still screaming and threatening him, so it was a, it was a life-threatening situation. The other guy, instead of taking up for his father, cut down and just assumed the fetal position. Wouldn't even fight back. Wouldn't even try to defend himself. And people don't know how to defend themselves no more. They have no backbone anymore, it seems. You know, you know, you'll have thugs that will start things and think they're way more tougher than what they actually are. But any decent people that has morals 
A lot of those people don't know how to defend themselves. Don't know how to use these. Don't know how to use these. Don't know how to use a handgun or a knife or a stick or nothing. They can't defend themselves. And that's just the men. The women should not defend themselves too. Like I said, the skills should overlap. But unfortunately, people spend all their time anymore playing video games, putting virtual reality goggles on, and living in the fantasy world where there's no skills whatsoever that is being taught or learned. And it's not just the men. You know, the men anymore are just as bad. Actually, they're worse at like the video games and watching television. The women growing up, they're not taught to cook. They're not taught how to can and preserve produce. They're not taught how to garden. They're not taught how to sow. They're not really taught anything. All they know how to do is go out and shop, spend, paint their nails, get their hair fixed, and usually complain and moan far more than what they should. But I digress. And the men are just as sorry. They don't have no skills either usually. Very few people have any skills. And it's unfortunate because, you now watch here, and what's coming and getting worse and worse and worse every day, it's gonna require skills to survive through. And unfortunately, acquiring skills takes time. Most everything takes time. You can read a book, watch a video, get a basic understanding of things, if you, still have, the, if you have that book available or that video available. But it still takes time to learn, you know, skills like gardening, for example, how to hunt, how to do first aid, CPR. It takes time to learn those skills. Auto mechanics, auto repair, recycling, you know, things around the home into something else that you can actually use instead of just throwing that away. It takes time. And right now, we don't have time. And these people have sat around doing nothing, worrying about the latest football game or the latest score on that basketball game or something or that video game or getting that high score in the video game or just whatever that's useless completely useless in the real world they spent their time doing that and not actually learning any true survival skills and what's coming down what's happening right now it's going to get worse and worse as time goes on it's going to require skills unfortunately most people don't have any skills even here in the country, like I said, I see a few more gardens that's been tilled up, but not many, and that's sad. I drove around, you know, the other day just looking and see where I could see what people were doing. They're not prepared. They're not prepared for a long-term situation. Most people haven't even stocked up. They have no idea what's coming. They see their prices going up. They see some emptiness in the shelves, and they're thinking, it's, it's nothing. It's going to be all right. It's going to come back down again. As soon as we elect, you know, some Republicans in there here in a few months, it's going to be all right. They'll fix everything. It's just one of those things that happens. They don't see the big picture. It's not going to go back to normal. Things are never going to go back to the way they were three years ago, four years ago. It's not the plan. It's not going to happen, unfortunately. And a lot of people still have got that hope that some politician is going to fix it, and it's not going to happen. The only person who's going to fix it is you, where you are, with your preps and your skills and ability to do the things. Anyways, guys, if you thought the video was useful, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And the Creek More Mighty here. I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.